So here is our 2022.3.14 project ready. So in general, this is just a tutorial about 2022.3 version of Unity and we will integrate Iron Source SDK in it. So first thing you have to do is delete any uh, previous version of uh, Iron Source by deleting the dependency resolver and the Iron Source folder itself from over here. And after you are done with that, uh, just re restart the editor just close it and open it again now the second thing you have to do is download the uh, the link will be in the description by the way download the latest version of sdk iron source and then uh, search for download mobile dependency resolver go to this uh, link it will also be in the description below now you need to download the latest version of this so go to master tags and whichever the latest version is just go on the code and download the zip so inside that file we actually are interested in the external dependency manager now go into the projects and the first thing you need to do is import your uh, unity package um, now browse your uh, iron source sdk so iron source sdk unity package now this is 7.60 version i will just import it import everything uh, now wait while it is importing also the resolver uh, we will say cancel um, now after it is cancel uh, we will go ahead and go to assets and then import package custom package and now you need to have this file which is uh, the same resolver that you downloaded before so just open that now external dependency manager uh, open that and just import it and it is done importing so it will might might try to resolve it and if it doesn't then it is okay um, we yet don't want it to resolve anything but i think it might just do that uh, no problem let it do its compiling it will take a while okay i think it is done so let's go into the ads mediation and over here we need to click on integration manager now let us install the unity ads um, let's cut this and now let's go to file uh, by the way first let's go to asset external dependency manager uh, Android resolver and then click on settings now as you can see uh, it has the auto and uh, auto resolution on uh, which is okay um, we could turn that off for a bit but you know what let's just keep it like that uh, let's click on ok uh, now let's go ahead and click on file or we can just go into the edit okay we have to go into the file build settings and then change this to android i almost forgot to do that okay now go into the player settings and the first thing you need to click on is the custom main manifest now this is for iron source sdk uh, so click on custom main manifest and now it is asking if you want to enable the auto resolution now i will click on disable uh, or else it will just download a few files which we don't want right now uh, so inside the plugins android uh, we got our file which is main manifest so just double click on that and open that file okay so this is the file now i will add a little bit of space for the code that we are going to copy from this iron source website link will be in the description below copy this first line of the fourth step and just paste it over here great now save this and close it let's go back into the unity and then the second thing we need to turn on is custom main gradle template okay so custom main gradle template and just uh, and it gave us the main template now inside the main template we don't want to touch anything so let's just cut that um, and then the next thing we want is custom gradle properties template so custom gradle properties template and then we will it gave us the gradle template dot property so just open that 
and now over here as you can see we, uh, we need to plug the additional properties so just go this link will also be in the description so just copy this line of code let's copy this and paste it over here in the additional properties and let's hit save let's cut this and now we need to go back into the unity uh, and I think we are done with uh, with all the files. So custom Gradle properties template was the last one. Uh, and now uh, after we resolve uh, this custom Gradle settings template, this should be checked automatically. Also, don't forget if you have any keys over here. So just plug those keys. So I will just cut this and go to the assets external dependency manager and android resolve and do a force resolve and it should say the resolution is succeeded now let's click on ok check the androids folder and as you can see settings template is over here so now let's go to android external dependencies android resolver and check the settings and let's enable auto resolution right now now let's click on ok now as you can see if we go to the edit project settings uh, inside the publishing settings uh, you can see it automatically checked the custom gradle settings pro template now if we try to build this app so let me go into the player settings other settings and over here i will choose to make a 64-bit application and the minimum api level should be 8 maximum should be currently it is at api level 33 according to play store i will cut this and let's try to build it and i hope this works so let's go to build and let's i'll just name it one and save and let's wait till it builds okay so as you can see my app was built successfully by the way, it built APK. I actually forgot to check the app bundle file, but uh, if this is building, app bundle pi file will also be built successfully. So I will just click on app bundle as well. Uh, I'll just try to build that as well. So let me name this one and let's hit save. Uh, and now it should build app bundle file as well. And there you go, it built the a app bundle file as well. So that's how you do integrate the iron source SDK inside Unity 2022.3 version. To stay updated to my latest video, subscribe and to support me making more such content, leave a like. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.